Today, we're looking at maps and specifically, we're looking at proto maps, which is a free and open source map of the world. Now, proto maps is exciting because it's a collection of tools as well as a specific file format that allows you to um, basically put parts of the world into a single static file and host it yourself on cloud storage, like, for example, Superbase storage. So this is what it looks like. Uh, so it's using the open street map data. Um, and you can use it with kind of things like um, map Libre, or, you know, um, kind of other sort of JavaScript libraries as well. PM tiles is that kind of open source format, which allows you to basically build kind of a, a static file that you can just drop into your Superbase storage. And Superbase storage supports HTTP range requests out of the box. So that works. Um, and then yeah, you can use things like Leaflet or uh, MapLibre GL um, for rendering your maps. And so this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, you just need to add the PM tiles protocol to map Libre. And then you just plug in um, your storage URL and you're good to go. So let's have a look at kind of what you know, the actual tooling side of proto maps looks like. So proto maps gives you kind of, you know, this, for example, um, you know, you can style it as well. And sort of as you zoom in, you know, you get more details, you get more um, tiles. Now, obviously, kind of the whole sort of open street map data for the entire world at kind of all zoom levels is, um, I think, north of 100 gigabytes, uh, somewhere 120 gigabytes, maybe. So what you can do is with the PM tiles um, CLI, here, you can cut out um, kind of a certain area that you want, you know, to have sort of your map. So for example, you know, if you know that you're just, you know, operating kind of in um, certain towns, you can actually extract, um, you can extract multiple bounding boxes actually, uh, into kind of the same static file. So for example, you can cut out, um, you know, a bunch of different cities. So for example, here, um, we have a bounding box uh, around Utrecht uh, in the Netherlands. Um, I actually don't know why, you know, this specifically B box finder, maybe it's um, some Dutch folks. Uh, behind that project. So what we can do now is we can cut out our bounding box around Utrecht. Um, so let's do that PM tiles extract. And so now we're just getting the latest open street maps built there, and then cutting out the um, specific area that we want. Great, and so now we created a little cutout around Utrecht of um, 14 megabytes. So if we go here, um, we can see there's our file here. We will open that up in um, the finder. We need to create a new Superbase project. As you know, we'll just go to database.new, um, select our organization, I say, super proto maps, uh, we can generate a password, just remember, um, you know, to copy that password and keep it safe somewhere. And then you can choose your preferred region. I'm here in Singapore. So we'll just deploy it here. Okay, so now we're up and running, we can go to storage. And we can create a new public um, bucket. So we'll just call it public um, maps in here. And we uh, save that. So now we have a public bucket. So what we can do now is we can um, upload our map into the public bucket. So here we have my area.pm tiles. So we'll drop that into our public bucket here. And so now what we can do is we can literally just get the URL. Um, so this is, you know, remember, this is a public bucket, so we can get the URL. And then so here, this is um, a simple Next.js application, I'll link you as always the, the code below. 
Um, but what we're doing here is just we're using react um, map GL. So this is map Libra and then specifically react map um, for uh, map Libra GL. So we'll just import kind of um, the CSS here. And then also we'll need um, the proto maps um, base theme we can get from here. Um, so we get the layers and then we can get the uh, protocol from PM tiles. So what we need to do as you saw earlier in the docs is we need to um, add the new PM tiles protocol. Um, we're just getting here protocol tile from the PM tiles um, library import. And then we just add uh, remove protocol basically when um, you know, we're kind of leaving the page. So, uh, so here, then we have our map. So what we can do is we can get the glyphs, for example, from, um, you know, proto maps is kind of just statically hosted here on our GitHub. Um, we'll add some attribution in, you know, proto maps and open street maps. And then we'll just type vector. And then we need to prefix this with our PM tiles protocol. Um, and then we literally just paste in our projects. Uh, so yes, we have the PM tiles and then the HTTPS. So this is just our public storage um, bucket. Actually, we don't need the timestamp here. Um, you know, since it's just a, a public bucket. And what we can do now is we can um, start up our app npm run dev, run that on localhost. So this is just a simple Superbase Next.js starter project. And then we can go to static map here. And so static map just has our um, map. So maybe we can zoom in a little bit there. And so now what you can see is we have kind of the base map. Now I give that a quick refresh. Um, and maybe you can see like if we're going uh, into the network requests, um, you can see that here we're fetching from our Superbase storage bucket. So we do have the entire um, kind of world here. But basically, as we're zooming in, we're then um, losing kind of the, um, you know, detail. So as we're zooming in, we're getting, you know, less and less detail. Um, except for like that area in uh, Utrecht that we had. So as we kind of zoom in here, we then get um, kind of our cutout. So we can go down to kind of all the detail level um, within Utrecht where we're getting kind of all the road names and everything um, on the map. But then as we're kind of leaving, you know, Utrecht here. So you can see like in the background, we're firing off the the HTTP um, range requests. Uh, so maybe you can uh, see here, um, we're just getting kind of content range um, here. And so you see as we're leaving Utrecht, we don't have um, that level of detail. So but as we're zooming out, then um, we're getting kind of the, the bigger tiles, you know, and so um, this is this is basically how it works. And we can specify our map. Um, so there you have it. Uh, that is kind of how easily you can just drop it in. Now one thing, of course, this is a public bucket. So what this would mean is, you know, anyone who finds out kind of your bucket URL. Um, so that isn't ideal. Now at the moment, you can't um, specify kind of a course origin for, um, you know, your super storage bucket um, by default. But what we can do is we can um, proxy it through a super base edge function. Now edge function invocations are um, pretty cheap. So I think on the free tier, you get like 2 million invocations uh, for free, for example. So what we can do is just we can specify kind of our allowed origins um, here. And then we need to specify a couple of course um, headers. So we'll need our kind of allowed origins. So we'll allow localhost um, 3000, for example. Um, and what we can do is so the authorization kind of, you know, just 
these kind of headers we need. Uh, then we need the um, options. So, you know, for course, we're sending options requests. So in that case, we just need to reply with OK and with the course headers. And then what we're doing here is we're just um, checking the origin. So we're checking the origin uh, against our allowed origins. Now, if our origin isn't allowed, we say, you know, just not allowed um, from, you know, the the edge function. Um, now, otherwise, if it is allowed, we basically just get the request um, URL and then we just proxy it to. Uh, so we actually have an authenticated um, URL. So if you want to access um, storage objects in a private bucket, um, we can then uh, add kind of the authorization header. Uh, and as long as we're adding kind of the Superbase service role key um, in the authorization header, we can access um, private, uh, you know, assets in a private bucket. So that is pretty much it. So what we need to do is we need to use the Superbase CLI to deploy um, this edge function. So what we need to say is Superbase login. Since we created a new project here, um, we can then open up and, um, you know, link this to our project. Great. Okay, we got the access token um, associated to our project. And so now our project was um, this one here. So this is our project ref. So next, we need to link our project Superbase link. Uh, and we'll just provide the project ref to be our project. Now important, um, you know, this is where you need kind of your database password from earlier. Um, and now we can say Superbase functions deploy uh, maps private. Now we uh, don't want no verify JWT. So we just want this to be publicly available without um, any JWT access token. Um, and that's it. So we're bundling our script. And now we are deployed. So what we can do is if we're um, now creating a new bucket, and so we're saying this is maps um, private. So our private bucket here, we save that. So now what we can do is we can upload um, our area again to uh, here, my area PM tiles uh, to maps private. Now is we can um, proxy this through our edge function. So you see here, this is our um, edge function. And we can now just say instead of the storage URL, we replace that, give that a save. And so now if we go back to our map, you can see that now we're loading it through um, the edge function. So edge functions here. And you can see that again, as we're zooming in uh, here, Germany, Nederland, uh, Utrecht. So we're now making the proxy request through our Superbase edge function. Um, and so if we were to say change, um, you know, allowed origins, for example, to only be from port 8000, and we click uh, quickly redeploy um, the function here, and we give that a reload, you can now see that um, we're getting a course error here, method not allowed. So that is um, our 405 for checking the origin here. So not allowed. Okay, that's it. So this is how you can use proto maps, uh, a free and open source map of the world together with Superbase storage and edge functions to self host your maps on Superbase. Let me know in the comments down below what else you'd like to learn, you know, about maps post GIS, um, doing a little series here. So just let me know in the comments below and we'll have a look what we can do. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.